wineries have become tourist attractions in themselves, especially the ones I've just visited on Victoria's Mornington Peninsula. The vineyards there are bursting with the fruit of the vine as harvest time nears. It's said that of all the world's more civilized pursuits, none has a more glorious history than the pleasures of the vine. Most of us pick up our supplies at the local bottle shop, but these days, more and more wine lovers are going straight to the wineries themselves, where they can taste the grape and meet the actual winemaker. You ask for a comment on the wines, the wines are totally different in style, whereas the South Australia wines, say the Barossa wines, are rich and full and tannic and, and you know, full on. Um, Victorian wines, by and large, especially when you get this side of the Great Divide, tend to be fine, and elegant. Gary Crittenden is one winemaker who welcomes visitors to his Dramana estate on the Mornington Peninsula, an hour or so's drive from Melbourne. While some charge around $2.50 for the privilege of sampling their vintages, tasting here is free. When it comes to wine, Victoria is right up there with the best. I was amazed to learn that there are over 230 wineries here, more than any other state and they're proving to be a big tourist draw card. It's one of the curious um, quirks of, of history that Victoria, in fact, was up until the late uh, 1800s, far bigger a wine producing area than, than South Australia. The wines at nearby Red Hill Estate, run by Sir Peter Durham, are also worth trying. You know, I'm very proud of our champagne. I hope you enjoy it. Sir Peter was a captain of industry in Melbourne, until he retired recently and bought a winery as a hobby. Some hobby. He just won the Vineyard of the Year Award. And it's a very interesting sort of hobby. I mean, it's gone way past the hobby, as you can see. Miles past it. Look at this operation here. He loves to chat with his visitors and extol the virtues of the area. How would you describe the wines in the Mornington Peninsula area? I think they're exciting, Barry. I think it's, what, what's happened in the Mornington Peninsula in the last 10 years or even less is amazing, really. Tremendous development. There's some very exciting wines. The wineries here are getting ready for vintage. It begins in earnest in a few weeks and won't end until about May. Sadly, hand picking has all but gone. Machines do it all now. Still, this is a great time to plan a winery tour. Harvesting means new tastes, new experiences. A fast freeway links Melbourne to the peninsula. Take a chairlift to the highest point, Arthur's Seat. On Port Phillip Bay, boats will take you out to meet some special friends. The dolphins, who seem to delight in putting on a show for the crowds. And stay for the main event of the day, the nightly penguin encounter. See the world's smallest penguins strutting their stuff before an excited audience. And it's all to be found on Victoria's marvellous Mornington Peninsula. It's a nice region, the Mornington Peninsula. It has a sort of Mediterranean feel. But go easy on the grape and all that tasting if you're driving. For details of Victorian wineries, contact Tourism Victoria or your travel agent or see ANSET.